Well, you're sharpening that hook again, huh, Doc? You bet. You need to stay on these hooks. We just had a hit there. We lost the fish. One of the reasons is that the hook wasn't sharp enough. Uh -huh. And it has to stick right on your nail. Oh. You do it any time. Just like it's glue on the end of it. It just touches. Let me see your uh -huh. thumb here and I'll show you what I mean. Right here. You see how it just... Oh, yeah. I can feel that's in there right now. Right. <laughs> yeah. And that's holding power. And that's uh -huh. really important when hooking fish. Yeah. You need Th it. This particular technique was shared to me by an old timer by the name of Toothpick John, Seacrest Marina, Elliott Bay. Uh -huh. And could he catch fish? Oh, I'll man, tell you let's what. see what he had to okay, do. Okay, so <laughs> what you do, you see with the herring straight, uh -huh. it doesn't spin in the water, it just kind of follows straight like this. Uh -huh. So what you want to do is you want to take a toothpick here and you want to bend it over and through the anal area of the bait by holding it over. Uh -huh. You see how it holds the shape? Oh yeah, brings that tail skin straight up. It doesn't go to the side. Right, it just uh -huh. spins real nice. Mm -hmm. Now what I do is I take this top five odd hook. Again, we're same size hooks as before. Mm -hmm. Now this was shared to me by a Department of Fisheries patrol officer. Oh really? Yeah, Kurt Lisi showed me this trick. You come right up in here into the fish and there's this little membrane here. Yeah. And you run the point of the hook right through Right and you come, tip. yeah, and you come between its eyes, mm -hmm. right there, and you pull it up through. Yeah, I see that. See that? Again, barbless hooks. Now this hook, like the cut plug herring, needs to hang away from the bait, just like this. Just like it. Now this hook runs up along the side of the bait here. You notice how the point of the hook is out away from the herring? Yeah. That's important because when this bait starts to spin, again, like the cut plug, you want to make sure that this point does not go get caught into the bait. Yeah, that prevent the hit. Right. Now, some fishermen like to take and reverse the bend and run it in this way so that it stays fairly good. Yeah, stationary hook. But yeah. me and the way Toothpick John taught me, put it on and let it hang by itself. That's a good looking bait. It's yeah. unusual, but it's a good looking right. bait. And it has a nice, fast, snappy action. Uh -huh. Well, let's try it. Yeah.